GIMP is a free and powerful graphics editor, and here's a quick video tutorial on how to use some of our quotes graphics and turn them into gorgeous wall art. The first thing you're going to do is, is a new document. Um, I'm going to use the letter size because it's easily printed at home. You can, um, if you want to do print on demand or, or uh, uh, larger sizes for some reason, you can definitely do that. I recommend you make your file in the largest size that you're going to use um, because it's so, so much easier to shrink it down, obviously, than it is to scale it up and have it still be high quality. Um, my market is printables, so I'm just going to go with the 8.5 to 11. And oh, oh. <laughs> that was unintentional. I forgot I had that on there. So I'm just going to bucket fill this back to white because I don't want a brown background. There we go. Let me fix that so I don't do that again. So I'm starting with my 8.5 by 11, you know, size document. And I would, what I did, and you can, this doesn't, you can't do this in GIMP, take the card deck image, whatever one that you choose, and go into Illustrator or Affinity or any other um, vectorizing um, software that you have. And there are free ones out there, so if you don't have the ability to make a vector, let me know and I will be happy to post a link to a freebie that I found. Um, but either way, you want it vectorized because the card decks are um, like two and a half by three and a half inches. Obviously, you cannot make a printable wall art with that. And if you just enlarge it, it's going to get all pixelated. And we don't want that. So you want a vector so that you can make it whatever size you want. And I have already vectorized it since I am. Uh, it's not done in in GIMP, I've already done that, and got that right here, because I do that and then I just save them all, so I have two and three and whatever. Um, and I'm going to do, I had one that I really liked, so I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to do the Choose Kindness. No, that's not the one I wanted. see which one. I did a bunch of them, um, but there's one I liked better. Yeah, we'll go with this one. If in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I have already enlarged this so that it is in this square that you can hopefully see in the video is 8 by 10 because that's a good size for an image to me and um, gives me room to add decoration or whatever and to make it actual art. Um, in it, it actually on Etsy you can actually sell I don't know what I did there. Um, you can actually sell a plain plain poster like this. Some of them really do sell so you may get lucky that way. Um, personally I think that is a little overdone this whole minimalistic uh, just black and white thing is a little overdone on Etsy. I don't want to compete with that. Um, so I'm going to decorate mine. And I'm going to do a very, very simple one. You can get as fancy as you want, but I'm going to show you a really, really quick way to just make a beautiful design. Um, I've already, this is already saved as a ping, so I've got my transparent era, uh, transparent layer. I'm going to use the select by color select the white on that layer and just hit delete and obviously because I have a white background you can't see what I did but now this is clear behind the black so now what I'm gonna do is open another layer and I have some gorgeous watercolor backgrounds that I have commercial rights to and that is what I'm going to do because I really like the way this comes out Okay, so now I have that behind there. That background is large, so I can change it. Um, it. 
you know, kind of play around with it a little bit to get it the way exactly where I like it. I like that. All right, so now I have my background. What I'm going to do, because this, I don't really like it just like this. I'm going to click on my kindness layer and I am going to invert that layer under colors go down to invert and now I have it on white and I like that better against that lovely dark background still a little plain for me so all I'm going to do is make a nice quick and easy frame and I'm just going to um, you want to be on on the JPEG layer because the other one's see-through, obviously that's not going to be helpful. So get on your, your background layer, click on the rectangle select, and then just, um, I kind of line it up with the corners so that I can get a pretty good, um, hopefully, balance to it. Oh, did not, see. there we go. thought I had it selected, but sometimes it takes a little more than once. So get it at least somewhat uh, balanced out the, bet the more exact the better obviously but um, I'm pretty good with just eyeballing it to be honest <laughs> alright so now you've got your square selected and all you're gonna do is take change this because I have the white I want the, the frame to be white so I'm gonna swap those out so that white is the color I'm using now hit edit stroke selection and you're doing a solid color and then just make this line the size you want it to be um, and I'm gonna go with the five I think that will the five pixels will work for me and hit stroke and select none and now you ha have this nice little white frame which to me balances it out and I actually like that as a very quick, um, pretty poster. So that is one way to do a very quick and easy poster. Just add a background. Put this color, whatever color you want it to be, depending on your background, and make a quick frame. And you have a printable poster. Um, as you can see, that didn't take me very long at all to do. Uh, super super easy take and um, one thing I can tell you if you want the size of it to be better on this JPEG you see the bounding box it was a really large file take your rectangular select and actually you don't even need to do that take that back take your right click on that file on that layer that is so large and just do layer to image size and that shrinks that layer down so that it's only this piece instead of having all that extra and that should work for you then merge the layers flatten and you have a printable file and just save it as a JPEG or whatever wherever you want to save it and that's it nice and easy